to continue working with the notification system, we have our template ready for the comment and like follow you and like liked post post. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start creating our new app. So let's type so always Django admin start app and then the name of your app. I'll name my like notifications, right? Enter. Okay, uh, let's go here, notifications, and let's go to our models. But yeah, um, first thing I will need to do is import our user from Django country of that models import user right let's create a new class notification models that model and let's create a new set of notification types with a tuple um notification types will be the first one will be the like and will be represented by one like the second one um, comment and the third oops follow okay we have notification types and now let's let's create a, a relation with post so you usually call it like oh from from post dot models import post right to create a relationship but in this case we're going to do it foreign key we're going to do it this way because if we do that because we're going to work with notifications in post to in the model it will have like a circular import so let's just not do it that way you can do it this way too it's safe because it is in the documentation so you can call it this way to avoid like circular imports. So yeah, post model foreign key post, right? That post. You're basically like implicitly like calling this like post app, right? And then so on delete will be model cascade related name. Naughty post and then blank. This is this can be true because it's not always a con, I mean, a post and true. Okay, okay, we have our post now. Sender foreign key. User on the lead model cascade create a name not the from user okay now the user it will be the user that will receive the notification so user on the lead This one to to user, right? And now the notif notification type. So you know, char fill and 
I'm a, this is an integer because we're taking like just <laughs> one of one of those like three number so integer field and then we have like a choice oops choices what are the choices not if you venture type so I'm just copy this one boom paste it here so we want like a test preview remember we have like a little test here just to read a little bit what the guy said right so we have like test oops test preview will be model the char fill then let's put a mass length of 90 and of course this can be blank okay and of course a date we need a date um, models that date time field I don't know I don't know add true and then is seen just to see if the person I created it just I mean like saw the notification and let's create this one the boolean field and default first false okay I think we have everything let's change notification type into your field la, 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 la. yeah now let's save that let's add the this new app here okay notifications save now let's run the migrations for these ones nope let's go python manage by make migrations Here we go, I have like a little, remember the typo that I had? You probably won't have this one, but I have a typo here, so. Mm. Let's put yes, I don't know. Oh, but I have like a bunch of errors here. Migrate. Oops. Yeah, uh, as I said before, it's a bunch of mm. but yeah, I just run the migrations and just forget about this. I will try to fix that now because remember I have the typo here, but George will be totally fine and yeah um in the next video we're going to start working with that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye